Okay, David Orr here in Bowie's Creek with uh, Anthony Mann. Anthony is uh, a computer aficionado, right? <laughs> yeah. To say the least, right? Yeah, yeah. And you came here wanting to learn a little bit about maybe Stag and Till, or you've heard about it and mm -hmm. stuff. Okay, um, what we're going to go over is we're going to. I have two videos on the website um, talking about Stag and Till, and then also about 3D. Mm -hmm. And we we're just we came up with the idea real quick here to just kind of combine the two videos into a simple segment. Yeah. Okay. Um, basically, we're going to study. Um, the uh, three planes of motion, two directions each, so that's six. Three times two is six, last mm -hmm. I checked, right? Um, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and stand up straight, okay? We're going to bend forward, okay? This would be called flexion. And then we're going to stand up, this would be extending. Mm -hmm. Flexion and extension. And that's for all parts of the spine. That could be just the head, the neck, okay? Extend it, feel like the throat's longer, feel that? Yeah. Okay? All right, now the, just the upper spine. Okay, and up, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, now, um, also we can do the, uh, the uh, lower back, okay? Okay, and then also just the tailbone. Rotate the tailbone, mm -hmm. okay? And pelvis, okay? All right, so that, all that plane of motion is forward and flexing forward and extending back, okay? Mm -hmm. And up, okay? Now, the frame of reference could be the golf ball. An external frame of reference would be the golf ball. Okay. So we are toward the ball, away from the ball. Mm -hmm. Okay. Same thing with your tailbone. Toward the ball, away from the ball. Yeah. Okay. Now another frame of reference we can use in this plane here, okay, is the target. Mm -hmm. Okay. So stand up straight. Let's bend toward the target. Let's bend away from the target. Okay. That's lateral bending. Mm -hmm. Okay. And we have rotation clockwise and counterclockwise. So there, there you go. So. We're going to use, and we're going to see how these planes change a little bit. Okay. okay. All right, so if you were to bend forward toward the ball and then back up to the ball, okay, that would be flexion and extension. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, if you were to turn your shoulders 90 degrees clockwise, go ahead and turn. Okay, now bend toward the ball. That's now lateral bending mm -hmm. to the left. And away from the ball, lateral bending to the right. Mm -hmm. Okay, now face the ball again toward the ball, back up. Flexion and extension. Mm -hmm. Face the target. Okay? Now toward the ball. That's lateral bending. And that's lateral bending to the left. So this is where people get confused is when the revolving doors turn. Uh -huh. And this goes for all four segments of your body, of mm -hmm. your of your torso and your and your spine. So uh, that might clarify a few things. Okay? So mm -hmm. the golf the, the, the pivot or the, the the golf strokes pivot is not 100% pure rotation, mm -hmm. as might some might lead you to believe. <laughs> okay, so a lot of it depends on your posture. I mean, if your head is straight and your back straight, I mean, it's going to feel more like pure rotation than if your neck is down mm -hmm. and your chest is down. So a lot of it has to do with how your posture is. Mm -hmm. Okay, to dictate the, to the degree at which you would be changing these these tilts, so to speak. Okay, so I just wanted to kind of go over that real quick. So go ahead and set up to the golf ball. Okay, I want you to make a backswing for me. Mm -hmm. Okay, go ahead and make a backswing. Okay, laterally bend away from the golf ball. Excellent, laterally bend toward the golf ball. Ah, very good. Okay, I want you to bend forward away from the target. I want you to extend back up toward the target. Very good. I want you to overextend to where you reverse pivot or reverse tilt. Feel that? Mm -hmm. Back to center. Very good. All right. Let's go back down to impact. Go down to impact. Come on down. Okay, good. I want you to extend away from the golf ball. Aha. Good. Do it again with, without moving the golf club now. So as you pull away, the wrist would have to uncock. Mm -hmm. They'd have to come up. And the tailbone would have to move toward the ball. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, in order not to top this, you have to tilt slightly rightward. Mm -hmm. There you go. There's impact position right there. Mm -hmm. Or bend the right form just a little bit. Very good. Okay, now I think your tailbone could be just a little further away from the golf ball. There we go. Mm -hmm. Now move your tailbone toward the target and up. There you go. Very good. Okay, excellent. Let's go to the finish. Go ahead and swing to the finish. Okay. Okay, I would like your head more toward the golf ball. 
Yeah, but not your hip. I don't want your hips further away. Just put it. There you go. There you go. I want you to bend toward, forward toward the target. I want you to extend up away from the target. There you go. Toward the golf ball. Now, don't move your tailbone. <laughs> okay, now let's go ahead and release the right knee forward. Right foot. There you go. Feels like a soccer kick. Mm -hmm. Just make your throat longer and toward the golf ball. There you go. A little less rotation. Okay, now pull the pelvis upward. There we go. Excellent. Okay, bend forward. Stand up. Bend sideways. Not with the tailbone. Okay, just the neck and the upper spine. Now just the, there, just this lateral part right here. Mm -hmm. Okay, now back up. Make your throat longer. Tilt your throat even longer so that your neck actually starts going backwards. Turn your head toward the golf ball. Turn your face toward the golf ball. There you go. Excellent. Pull the pelvis up. Okay, good. Excellent. Very good. Okay, rest. So, you, you can divide your body into the, the head and the neck, right? Mm -hmm. And the upper spine, the lower spine, and the sacrum and the tailbone. Yes. You can use these external frames of reference. Mm -hmm. Okay? Uh, the third and final frame of reference is the shoulder's relationship to the hips. Okay, and I'm going to show you that. So you've got the ball is number one, the target mm -hmm. is number two, mm -hmm. and then you have the frame of reference of your shoulders in relation to your hips. See how my shoulders are out in front of my hips? Yes. Okay, now if I were to keep my shoulders the same distance out in front of my hips if I turn, this is what I would look like. Uh -huh. Okay, what we're dealing with is, is movement around the transverse plane. Yes. This way. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the spine angle uh, would appear to stay the same. Mm -hmm. Okay, but it's not because the relationship of the shoulders to the hips are changing. And they have to. So you they, they have to, exactly. So the shoulders are out in front of the hips, you can see. Shoulders are out in front of the hips, okay? Okay, and if I were to rotate and keep those out in front of the hips, I'd look like this. Mm -hmm. So I have to have some extension to get the shoulders kind of more in the middle of the hips. Mm -hmm. So that when I start down, I'm on top of myself, stacked. Mm -hmm. See that? If my shoulders are up in front of my hips too far and I start down I've got, and i got any hip slide at all, I might have too much second tilt. Mm -hmm. Shifts the plane to the right. Yeah. Isn't that cool? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I'm sure Sam Sneed probably felt like he stayed his shoulders in front of his hips and then he kind of tilted back in front and then he centered up and he rotated and then he extended up like this. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that, that, that relationship is changing. So the three right frames of reference. Am I getting closer to the ball or further from the ball? Closer. Okay. Am I away from the target, toward the target? Would be the second one. Mm -hmm. And the third frame of reference is where is my shoulders to the, my hips? Okay. So as I turn back, here are the shoulders have stayed the same relationship to the hips. Here they're more in the center. So when I start down there, okay. If I stay, this is kind of what it would look like if I didn't change that relationship. Uh -huh. So you can see that these, these three motions are changing. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Yeah, isn't that pretty cool? They have to work in concert. Ah, concert. They have to be synchronized and sequenced at certain speeds. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what would happen if I started tilting toward the target too early and not enough rotation? I'd look like this. Mm -hmm. What if I uh, stayed, kept the shoulders in the same relationship to the hips and I turned early? See how my head would move? Mm -hmm. So there's a certain little blending of when and how much and where you change these little tilts. Both going back, maybe reestablishing, coming down, and changing going through. Mm -hmm. Okay? So I thought you'd like that and put that on the video clip. Yeah, I'd like it. Okay? All right. Appreciate it. Yeah. Anthony Mann, three frames of reference.